Hi, everyone. Um, this is Wenli, um, a PhD student from Washington State University. And thanks for your attention. So in this talk, I will share our work on polyphase, a holistic gray both phasing on multi-language system. So a multi-language system is typically constructed with multiple programming languages for interactive language components or modules. Usually, different language components um, interoperate with each other for functionalities. So this offers flexibility and the ability to leverage the strengths and the features of, of various languages. So with such benefits, um, the multi-language development um, is becoming popular. Our empirical studies indicate that um, over 75% projects are programmed with multiple programming languages on GitHub. As a result, um, the um, multi-language software is um, becoming prevalent in various domains. For example, the Android OS, PyTorch, TensorFlow, and machine learning framework, IEA, Rookable, in cloud distributed computing, MATLAB in scientific software. So this, um, with given this prevalence and the impact of multi-language system, the security risks can be highly consequential. And it is important to acknowledge that multi-language system can really can induce the security stress. On one hand, the stress in single language system can also happen in multi-language system. Moreover, due to the much greater complexity of the multi-language system, the stress can go deeper and be hard to get detected. As one of our previous work, Paul Cruz, um, uh, cross-language dynamic information flow analysis, um, it has successfully detected error vulnerabilities in multi-language system. So this has demonstrated the criticality of such security stress in the multi-language systems. So to detect, oh, sorry, this is as an example. So this figure shows a risk of buffer overflow across Python C code in NumPy. So this issue is mainly induced by the cross-language information flow. So when the Python API in the zero is, is, is called, the corresponding native function is invoked. And the shift, shift value um, is propagated for, along with the data flow um, fairly um, at the cross-set of memory copy, where the um, red, buffer of, red overflow can happen on a fixed set stack buffer when the shift length is larger than expected. The intermediate impact is crashing the program and uh, enable DSL attack. Then to detect these vulnerabilities, um, currently two primary approaches are widely used. So in, prog in program analysis, the static analysis usually suffer high four positives, while in dynamic information flow analysis, the um, efficiency of bug discovery is usually limited by the test inputs, and uh, the pre-designed tests are usually for functionality testing. So to mitigate this weakness, um, the test um, input generation techniques such as fuzzing can be employed. So fuzzing can um, automatically generate a wide range of inputs to test the software, hence increasing the chances to discover vulnerabilities. And by law, over 16,000 vulnerabilities have been detected by fathers in various projects. So this confirms the fuzzing is powerful and effective in vulnerability detection. However, existing fuzzing techniques are insufficient for multi-language system. So the excellent fathers, such as AFL, new father, are primarily designed for single language software, or focus on fuzzing a, a specific language unit. So directly applying these tactics on multi-language system can suffer various limitations. So there can be feasibility issues to support different languages, and um, it may be insufficient due to the incomplete coverage feedback. And there can also be reproducibility issues for the vulnerability discovered. Moreover, another challenge is about the efficiency. Our um, studies found that over 95% mutations will be redundant if we simply use random mutation strategy. So with, um, with this evident, so these evident limitations prompt us to develop a holistic father for multi-language system and pose two primary challenges. So the first challenge pertains to the lack of logic on how to generate inputs that effectively access information flow across heterogeneous language units. So to tackle the challenge, um, Polyphase incorporates sensitivity analysis um, with um, holistic coverage amendment. So it explicitly models the semantic relationships between the inputs and the branch predicates 
with regression. So with the regression models, it can, um, with this regression models, it can quickly generate effectiveness to help flip the branches quickly and uh, being aware of the cross-language information flow. And another challenge is um, about how to, gener how to achieve the comprehensive coverage while accommodating language extensibility. So to address this, um, Polyfast um, introduced um, custom intermediate representation called SAL. So by, per by perform more heavy program analysis, for example, the control dependency analysis, data flow analysis um, on, the, on this AR. So it enables the coverage memory and the branch variable monitoring for various language units while minimizing the language specific analysis. In, the, in this next, I will show um, the basic workflow of Polyfast. So in brief, um, Polyfast works in three primary phases to fast a multi-language program with induces. In phase one of static analysis, um, it first run a nice language specific analysis to generate SAIR. And uh, then based on the error, it computes the instrument, instrumentation guidance and try to reduce the runtime overhead. As output, it instruments the target program for phase three and uh, collects the constant constraint, branch constraints for phase two. Then during runtime, it runs sensitivity analysis in phase two and the core fuzzing in phase three collaboratively. So with the couple of branches during the runtime, the sensitivity analysis can continuously to train the regression models and uh, generate effectiveness to fade the core fuzzing, hence improving the fuzzing efficiency. So here I'm, I have a demonstrate an example to show how to generate SAR and the instrumentation guidance computation. So this figure shows a CCR program after being translated into SAR, so the information of basic blocks, um, assignments, commercial instruments will be re reserved. And as a highly customized IR, it only differentiates the energy lot for various types. Then based on this IR, a block level control flow graph can be constructed. So to can compute the instrumentation guidance, firstly, um, it can compute a minimized block set um, as B1, B2, B4, B5 here, mm, mm, according to the control dependence analysis, so as to distinguish all execution passes. Then in second step, to monitor the branch variable, mm, it calculates uh, an instrumentation set at a standard for in B1. Finally, it can merge the two sets to generate the minimizer, minimizer instrumentation guidance. So, here I will demonstrate a simple example to show how the how the city generation works under the sensitivity analysis and can help improve, improving the fuzzing efficiency. So this this function in this function it has an input parameter and the two branch variables do and SN. So in the static analysis, the two branch variables are harvested with the constant constraints 16 and 256. Then we can instantiate do with zero and uh, 32 according to the last operator. So zero is for the true condition, 32 is for the false con condition. Similarly, we can set SN as 256 and, and zero. On the other hand, in the sensitivity analysis, we can learn two functions with one better partition on the original set. That is the zero bet or as I, O in is equal to do, and the second bet O in is equal to half of SN. Then we can input the bunch of variables instances to the two learn functions and get a set of values for the zero and the second set blocks. Finally, we can assemble these set blocks and generate four new sets. So these four new sets can help quickly flip the branch branches. So it can help improving the fuzzing efficiency. In evaluation, so regarding the effectiveness, we compared polyphas against the three state or art single language fathers, including the Jaza for Java, Asteris for Python, Hongfast for C, on both, on both multi language and the single language benchmarks. So, in brief, polyphas can beat all of them in terms of both block coverage and uh, bug discovery. For example, when compared to Jaza, um, on multi language benchmarks, it achieves 29.1% um, more coverage and uh, get one more bug. 
Then in on single in on single language BMX, although both of them cannot find any new bugs, but uh, Polyfast can get 11% more coverage. That means Polyfast um, has more potential to discover new vulnerabilities with, with more time budget. Then regarding the vulnerability discovered, um, Polyfast has in, enabled 14 previous unknown bugs discovered and got five CVE assigned. So in summary, Polyfast is a novel framework for holistic, grid voice fuzzing, or multi-language software. So it measures the whole system broad coverage and uh, being and being able to generate effectiveness with sensitivity analysis. In addition to its powerful capabilities, it will also be designed to be a language extensible to support different languages. So that's all, and thanks for your attention. I will now to ask, answer any questions.